Hello everybody. Bugley and I have been getting a lot of questions about creating videos for delivery of content online. A little bit later, I'm going to tweet out a website that gives you a lot of different methods for creating videos and different techniques. There's lightboard videos, there's chalkboard videos, whiteboard videos, screencasts. What I'm doing today is I am creating a video using Zoom. You could also do this with Teams. So the nice thing about using Zoom, I'm just giving a lecture with no students in it, but I'm recording it. And I can go ahead and share my screen. And when I do that, I can use whatever I happen to be using on my computer. So I'm gonna move over to, let's move to ChemDraw, I'll show you ChemDraw. ChemDraw is a very nice program that we use in chemistry for drawing chemical structures. We often use it to create the structures that we then throw into a PowerPoint lecture. So I shifted from ChemDraw to PowerPoint. Uh, this is a nice way you can show students how to use particular pieces of software because you can show them right on your screen. You can also deliver a PowerPoint lecture. So I got the lecture up here. I'm just gonna go into presentation mode. And now when I'm in presentation mode, I get all the tools that I get normally in PowerPoint when I'm giving a lecture. So I pulled out the pen and in chemistry, we like to show the flow of electrons. I can use my pen to do that. We use these curly arrows to show the changes that occur in bonding. So I've pulled this proton off and left a negative charge behind on that carbon. We can then go ahead and form a carbon-carbon bond. But you know what? I actually can't draw very well in PowerPoint using my mouse. Some people are fantastic. I'm not. So what's nice is, I'm using Zoom, so I'm gonna share something else. I've got my iPad connected, and I'm gonna share my iPad. This is great. Let me start my iPad up here. There we go. You'll see it in a second. There's my iPad, but what's really great is I have my pen. I have my iPad pen, and although I'm not a terrific artist with the pen, I'm much better. So let's go over. I loaded something up on OneDrive a minute ago, uh, I'm going to pull it up here. There we go. And it's just the same thing I did. I'm going to zoom. I can zoom in. And what's nice in my OneDrive tool for PDFs, I can mark up uh, the document. So I've selected a pen. And now I'm just going to go ahead and push my arrows like I did a minute ago, and it's a little bit easier with my iPad pen. Form that carbon-carbon bond. I'm gonna move those electrons around. See, I can show my students everything I can show them in the classroom on a chalkboard. And you can see me, I can engage with you because I can look at the camera and talk to you. So, this video, which is going to turn out to be somewhere around four minutes long, only took me four minutes to create. What's also fantastic, I can load this up onto YouTube, and YouTube will generate a transcript of the video, which I can then use to go ahead and cut and paste and put in a document to go along with this video for anybody who might need to read rather than listen to the video. And students can watch this multiple times. So in the sciences, uh, in the arts, in anything, it's a great technique for generating content, just like you could do in a lecture at the board. Thank you, we'll talk to you later.